Well, hello, and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are j jumping into the world of health, and we're here with Josh Robbins. How are you, Josh? I, I'm doing great. How are you? And uh, yeah, thanks for having me on. Oh, absolutely. You and I have chatted over the years, and I, uh, I, I feel like I know you already, just from <laughs> because you're, you communicate so well. Yeah, well, you are great on email, um, which I'm not always great on email, but you know, if, every time I've sent you an email, I get like an immediate reply, which is really cool. And um, and so kudos to you for that. <laughs> That's because I'm old. <laughs> Us old people, we love our email. <laughs> but um, uh, well, I, well I, do you ever feel like, and maybe this is just me, but like I'm way too connected everywhere. You know, <laughs> I feel like that if I, if I miss a tweet, then I'm like the worst person in the world. And, <laughs> you know, you got Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and uh, yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. But I, um, uh, no, you, it's been great. You're always great to communicate with because it's, you give clear uh, answers and then, you know, it's always yeah. fast. Well, thanks. I have a secret though. I have most of my notifications turned off on my phone as well. So like, no, if there's a, if there's a Facebook, somebody tags me in a photo or something happens, I don't want to know about it. I'll just find out when I'm in the mood and sit down. Well, just... I, yeah, I mean, my phone looks like a hot mess because I have every notification <laughs> on. I couldn't do that. But no, I love the work you've done. I mean, you have been really at the forefront, I would say, especially when it comes to being out there on social and using video. When it comes to really that whole, that whole world of health and HIV outreach and education. And I don't know what, um, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, particularly, so uh, I'm an HIV activist, but I'm not the, the type of activist that maybe you um, expect, you know, and, and what I mean by that is I'm not really somebody that's ever going to march in the streets. It's just not me. Um, you know, when they say that you need to disperse, I am predispersed because I never <laughs> went down there to march to begin with, but I will raise awareness about the issue online and help fundraise or do to, you know, do whatever I need. Um, but yeah, yeah so I, I'm just a, a little, little different. And, you know, when you think about like HIV activists, you think about back in the eighties, you know, people mm -hmm. climbing on walls to like get the FDA to approve drugs. Um, and, and really doing really important work. And, um, and so, you know, I hesitate to say activists just because that is the definition and that's the standard. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think what I do is uh, I'd like to use social media to be able to get people to just talk about, you know, sexual health in a yeah. way that is, you know, cool if possible, yeah. but at least just not uh, a weird way. You know, yeah. like if you see a video and it's about sexual health on Facebook, like I just don't want you to be weirded out or immediately mm -hmm. turn down the volume. Um, I want it to be something cool. And so that's what I've always tried to um, to do and at least put out content that that I think yeah. is uh, that I would watch. And so yeah. I think you do it well. And I think the, another thing that you do maybe a little differently than others, you're very engaged with your audience as well. Like you, uh, you don't just post and leave it at that, that I noticed that uh, whenever people have something to say or, uh, or even other people post things that you're very engaged with all that. Yeah. Well, I think it's important. Like if people take the time to respond or yeah. to a comment on some, I think you do that as well. Like when people respond to us online or, yeah. uh, you know, share their opinion, it's really important to listen and, and to let them know that they're heard. Um, and that's what I try to do at least. Well, I think it's, I think we ought to be reminded it's a very human, you know, even though it's a, it's a, technology and it's a computer, it's a phone, it's, it's a device, but it's still, uh, if you remember that there's a person on the other end, at least usually, unless it's a Russian bot, but that's a whole other category. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, let's hope we don't get a whole bunch of those again this yeah. election, right? Yeah, but no, it's just, it's this whole thing that uh, when you treat it that way and you realize there's someone there and you're, uh, you're engaged with them and you do treat them with respect or, you know, what have you, I think the whole dynamic changes completely. and. Uh, and uh, I think that more and more people are understanding and learning that as opposed to just here, you know, here's a picture of me and, and have at it. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I totally agree. And I think that um, like if you get in that mentality and you get in that kind of uh, reaction and wanting to engage with people, then it mm -hmm. kind of set us up for what we all are going through right now, being kind of isolated yeah, yeah. And, and really requiring, you know, this virtual world and technology to kind of 
get us through this isolation somewhat. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so I feel, yeah, everybody needs to, to, uh, I mean, it's weird because, you know, when you go to Facebook, you, you see your timeline, whatever, and yeah. there's a ton of people you don't know. And yeah. so every once in a while, you know, I just really dig in and start commenting on people's stuff that I have no idea who they are. <laughs> and I just find it fun. Like, Oh, she's getting so big. You know, if they have a picture yeah. of their dog or their kid or something, no idea. But, um, but no, uh, there but are some, there's some good relationships with people that, um, like you, for example, you know, I've never met you, but we yeah. constantly, you know, are engaging or, or any of your brands that you have, you know, like engaging in, in one way or another online. And um, I think it's what's gotten me through the, this pandemic. Yeah, I think for a lot of people, because, uh, because uh, um, when, when we do have that lack of, like I would say, there's two components. There's, uh, there's this connection that we have with the internet, but then there's the way we communicate with, on the internet. And, uh, and I think that, you know, that world has kind of come together at a, at a time during the pandemic where it's allowed us to to have a almost like a release or just some sort of a, a place to go to that allows us to still remain connected and communicating, even though we're, we may be stuck at home or quarantined, whatever it may be. Yeah, you know, what's funny is that when every <laughs> when everybody wants to stay home, uh yeah, yeah like that we can't but now they're yeah, all yeah. Like, forced to stay home everybody's like oh i'm going crazy you know <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny how that works yeah no uh, but uh but you do other stuff you have uh you have hiv scoop and uh that you work on and uh and and also you're doing the work with uh out and about uh in nashville where you're uh you're doing like a whole health and wellness and uh, uh video and so forth but how's all that going yeah, I mean, it's good. I think that like the video series that I try to do, I, I'd love to take credit for them, but um, I kind of stole the idea from back in the day. I don't know if you remember um, MTV News with Kurt Loder. You know? yeah, yeah. yeah, so like MTV News, he, Kurt's show where he would break in on TV to like the music videos and, you know, yeah. tell us the late breaking news in the music world. And it was always fast. It was like yeah, under a yeah. minute or like two or three minutes max in and out. And then he would get out and the news would be over. And I'm not somebody that like s loves news, but news is really important, right? It's really important yeah. for all of us to kind of like stay aware. Um, and, and a side story on that, like for the past week, my partner and I, we, like we haven't turned on the TV at all. And I realized today I went to like CNN.com and I'm like, oh, there's a hurricane. <laughs> You know, like, my goodness. And then it reminded me, like, okay, this is why, like, staying in tune to, like, what's happening in the news world is important. And I, I feel like the same thing is, uh, you know, concerning news and sexual health, particularly, mm -hmm. or just health in general, that, um, that people shouldn't be expected to always stay abreast of the latest like health news that comes up, but there's some really important stuff that happens and mm -hmm. really uh, interesting studies or funny studies that happen and findings that, that kind of help explain some of this, you know, sexual health mm -hmm. stuff people have going on. And, and so I think that those, um, those stories are important and those news articles are important, but people yeah. always don't have the time to read them. And so I just kind of try to recreate that into a fast paced, like video series that, uh, that I like to watch like the MTV news yeah. Kurt Loder yeah. type style. So, um, yeah, without and about, this was a really cool project. I got called by Jerry Jones. Um, he is the, uh, the publisher here in Nashville and he yeah. received a Facebook grant actually. Um, a journalism grant, and it specifically was about sexual health and COVID-19 and how that kind of overlaps and like the health stuff related with that. And so he asked me to kind of create this video series for them. But what's really cool is that he has now like shared that content, that video, uh, yeah. each episode with other LGBT publications across the country and yeah. they're sharing it as well. So it's, we've created this little network, <laughs> you know, distribution channel, kind of um, yeah. like in New Jersey and several other places that are watching yeah. this, this video series. So it's kind of fun. Um, yeah. I've shot, I've done a couple episodes. I like to shoot outside. So um, yeah. I get my partner to help me, but we shot a couple out here. I went on vacation to the beach, shot one there. So yeah, it's been fun. 
No, I love that because I've seen some of them. And uh, and I even know of the network you're talking about that Jerry Jones has worked on with uh, a few of the other publications uh, around the country. It was all part of NEMA and then they kind of morphed into another organization. So, but there, it seems like everybody's doing some really good connected stuff. Yeah, it's really important, I think, right now to really support LGBT publications. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, because there is still in the print world, which is just tough in general. It's not a world I would want to be in, like printing a publication every month or week. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, advertisers are, are struggling. And so they're kind of pulling back the, those dollars. And so I think it's really important to for us to keep, you know, gay news and gay journalism a thing in our yeah. community. And so it, it, you know, you may consider it great news or you may consider it just a bar rag, but yeah. regardless, it's just, uh, it's an icon, iconic part of our kind of history as, you know, gay peoples. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I think it's important to, to continue to support those publications. Oh, very cool. Well, I'm looking forward to what we're going to do is everything we've talked about. I'm going to make sure uh, when we post this on YouTube, especially, we'll have all the links to everything, uh, all that you do oh, and everything we've yeah, talked yeah, about. Yeah. So it makes it very easy for people to find you there. And, uh, yeah. but other than that, no, I think it's great that you've been able to take a few moments to kind of share a little bit about what you do with our audience and uh, really appreciate you yeah. being here with us. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think that uh, I'm really inspired by what you do. I think well, that you. you have, you have a, a, a mind that makes me tired because of the ideas that you come out with and um, the way that you're able to brand it immediately. Like, yeah. uh, I think that's really cool. And so I just want to say thank you because the work you're doing is important and yeah. it's meaningful and it helps us. Well, thank you so much. Look forward to, yeah. look forward to connecting you with the, in the real world here soon. Hopefully, and hopefully yeah. you won't have a mask on. Exactly. You know? <laughs> well, thanks again. Thank right. you for everything. See you later. So good.